In this video, I will show you how to create Facebook 3D photos using Photoshop. In order to create the effect, we need to create a black and white depth map. So the elements to the back of the image will be darker and the elements to the front will be lighter. The first thing I'm going to do is press the D key to reset the foreground and background color. Then I'm going to select the quick selection tool and select the sky in the image. I can use the left or the right bracket keys to increase or decrease the size of the quick selection tool. If I want to deselect an area, I just have to hold the Alt key and go over the area I want to deselect. Once the sky is selected, I am going to create a new layer by clicking Layer, Select New, then click layer. I am going to name the layer sky. Then click OK. Since the sky is the furthest element in the image, I am going to paint it black. So with the sky layer selected, I am going to select the paint bucket tool and paint the sky black. Then I'm going to press Ctrl D to deselect the sky. The next element I'm going to select is the mountains. I am going to make sure the background layer is selected. Then I'm going to select the quick selection tool and select the mountains. Once the mountains are selected, I am going to create a new layer by clicking layer, select new, then click layer. I am going to name the layer Mountain. Then click OK. Since the mountains go from the front of the image to the back, I am going to change the foreground color from black to gray. Then select the gradient tool and add a gradient to the mountain selection. Then I'm going to press Ctrl D to deselect the mountains. By using a lighter color, it will create a separation between the sky and the mountains once the 3D image is rendered. Next, I'm going to turn off the visibility of the sky and the mountain layers by clicking the eye icon next to the layers. Then I'm going to select the background layer. Then I'm going to select the quick selection tool and select the person in the image. I am going to zoom in on the image in order to be able to make a better selection. Once I'm done making the selection, I am going to create a new layer by clicking Layer, Select New, then click Layer. I am going to name the layer Person. Then click OK. Then I'm going to change the foreground color to white. Select the Paint Bucket tool and paint the selection white. Then press Ctrl D to deselect the person. Then I'm going to move the person layer to the top of all the layers and turn the visibility on for the sky and the mountain layers. Now that the depth map is created, I can save the image. Before saving the image, here is an important step. In order for the 3D image to render once uploaded to Facebook, you will need to upload two files, a copy of the original image and the depth map. Both file has to have the same file name 
with the depth map image having underscore depth at the end of the file name. So now I'm going to save the file by clicking File, Save As. I am going to name the file View, and since this is the depth map image, I am going to add underscore depth to the end of the name. Change the file type to JPEG, then click Save. Then click OK on the Save JPEG options. Now I'm going to save a copy of the original image to the same location. I am going to turn off the visibility on all the layers except the background layer. Then click File, Save As. I am going to name the file View to match the name of the depth map image. Since this is not the depth map, I don't have to add the underscore depth to the end of the file name. Change the file type to JPEG, then click Save. Then click OK to save the JPEG options. Now I can upload the images to Facebook. I am going to open Facebook and go to my timeline and click photo slash videos. Go to where I saved the files, select both files and click OK. Facebook will then render the 3D image. Then I can click share to share the 3D image on my timeline. So that is how you can create a Facebook 3D photo using Photoshop. I hope you found this video helpful and if you are new to this channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Also make sure to check out some of my other Photoshop tutorials. As always, thank you for watching.